everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations. And I'm here today to share with you. I'm going to start over. Hi, everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations. And here today to share with you my third design team project using the Retro Men papers from Country Craft Creations. And I got to tell you, this paper is amazing. Y'all need to go to Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com and get this paper. The Retro Men is absolutely fabulous. And I have had a lot of fun playing with this paper. It's just amazing. So um, today what I want to share with you is my third project. This is a folio that I created. And it's nice and simple and easy and quick. And it really does showcase the papers nicely. And it does um, make a great Father's Day gift. Father's Day is coming up. So I think um, this is going to be a winner. Um, so what I did was I created this folio and it measures eight by eight and it has a one inch spine. It has a lot of room for photos and it also has um, a new way to do a waterfall uh, using my method of, you know, the scoring to make the waterfall pages. And um, I'm calling it a roundabout waterfall. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a second. Once we do the run through, then we're going to go right into the tutorial. And um, I'll show you how to make this. It's really super simple. Um, so I titled it What a Man. And I used my Cricut Joy and cut out these letters. And this is gold vinyl that I put on the cover. And I just thought that that was a perfect title for this um, this folio. I just thought it was. And this image, I tell you, I'm in love with this image. I think I need to buy the paper again so that I can frame that because I just, it's amazing, just gorgeous. But anyway, so let's get into the, the walkthrough here. So it opens up and we have here a very nice little page. And let me see if I can find a piece of paper here. So this is um, one of the ephemera pieces that I cut out. I fussy cut out. And it's, it says fishing gear on the box. And then it has a magnet closure. And it opens up like this. And then it opens up again like this. So you have uh, several opportunities for photos. And again, I used another ephemera piece. And I just went ahead and um, did it so you could put a photo behind it. And then it opens up like this. And you have a nice little pocket. And in the pocket, I have one of the um, three by four cut aparts. And then I put in two of the My Colors cardstock pieces so that you have other um, photo mats to use. So I put those in there. And then that closes again with the magnet. And then it opens up here. Now we got to have Wilbur in here. And I just love him too. He's so cute. Um, and it opens up. And then we have um, the other side that does the same kind of thing. So again, more room for photos and more room for um, pictures. And again, I, <laughs> I love that. I just love that. And um, just super cute. Look at the papers. And I didn't realize this till I cut them out, but there's little frogs in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Check out the frogs. They are absolutely adorable. So um, again, this is um, adhered so that you could stick a picture behind. And it closes with a magnet. Now, the other thing, too, is I'm going to show you in the tutorial how to use half of a magnet to help with the closure of this book. Because it will use, there's a full set here and then one magnet here that will help close this. So it's really um, kind of nice to do. So then when you open it up, you have this page here. It has a half-inch gusset. And I just simply put some of the My Colors cardstock here for a photo mat opportunity. And then I wanted to really show off the papers because I just think the papers are really cool. Then it opens up like this, and you have um, a big pocket, and again, more um, the cut apart and some more mats for photos, and it has a lot of room. This page is an 8x8 page, so there's a lot of room to put um, things. And then here is my roundabout waterfall. So I used, when I, when I cut the pattern papers out for this page, the leftovers are what I used to create the waterfall. So again, we have Wilbur over here, and then it opens up, and it opens up clockwise, and it just keeps going. And on the backs, I have cardstock, and I did some of the ephemera to um, be able to slide a picture underneath, and then it keeps going, and you have one more layer of pictures. So this is why I'm calling it the roundabout, because it just opens up kind of full circle. And then inside here, you have another opportunity. You could put a photo, you could lay a letter down in there or some more pictures, whatever you want. And then it just closes counterclockwise like so. So that is what I'm calling a roundabout waterfall. 
and it closes by the middle page that goes over like that. So this paper is gorgeous. This album is super easy to put together, but it is stunning in its effect. And I think that you're really gonna like it. So let's go ahead and get in on the tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoy it. 